Greetings, Shimano component owners. Um, I have here an older triple shifter, the left-hand side triple from a number of years ago that has failed for the second time. This is the model number ST-7803. And I know I'm not the only one out there facing this problem, so I thought I'd uh, share with you this video. And I didn't want to buy yet another one of these, a third one of these. I was able to find new old stock about six or eight years ago for uh, this replacement, um, but it cost me like 500 bucks. They're not cheap. I did see another one on eBay recently for 350, but I didn't buy it. Instead of buying a third one, I decided to look into what is causing this thing to fail, see if I can fix it. <clears throat> so the first thing to do, and it turns out it's fixable. Um, with, it's a little tricky, if, but if you're mechanically inclined, uh, you can do it. Um, first thing to do is open up the uh, little side cover here. There's just a screw that comes out. And then this cover pops off. And inside the mechanism, you can hopefully see, if you get it in the sun, catching the light, there's a little spring at the top. See that? And that has a hook on each end. It's supposed to have a hook on each end. The end on the right in this image is still there. The hook end on the left presses on a little lever uh, to operate the mechanism properly, and that breaks. And that's happened now twice and so I'm going to try to fix it and it turns out it's fixable you can uh, there's just enough room to pry that little spring out of there and then reform a new end the spring ends up being a little less strong because you take away one of the loops to do that but it still works when you stick it back in there you can um, uh, get it in again the same way it came out get the little uh, hook ends uh, situated properly and and it works so um, i'll show you how that looks uh, for some of these steps and uh, hopefully you can do it yourself and and make that fix take another look you can see that this spring is loose inside there i'll just uh, pry it a little bit you can see that see how loose it is so that'll it should have two ends that are hooked it only has one end that's hooked because it broke um, but it's loose enough to, to, to pry out and, um, and, and, uh, and reform it and stick it back in there. Now, these aren't made to be repaired, repairable, uh, so I'm not taking this apart all the way, just enough, but this is just enough to get at this. Um, uh, for whatever reason, Dura Ace made these non-repairable, but this is actually uh, something you can do. Okay, the spring is out. Here it is. You can see it's got the hook on one end. I pry it out with this little screwdriver, but it, the other end is broken right here. And it should have a similar hook on the other side that acts as a little, little torsion spring. Um, but um, let me reshape that and um, show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've reshaped uh, that spring. I bent the, the left-hand side into a hook now it's similar to that on the right. This is the, roughly the orientation that goes into the uh, into the shifter, um, and you have to get it back onto that spindle, which acts as a pivot. As you can just see there, see that round shaft there, and the uh, the right hook, the existing hook goes way up inside top there, <clears throat> and the new hook goes on that little lever you can see right behind that that spindle. Uh, I hope you can see that a little lever uh, there, and um, you might have to do, do it a couple times to get it right. Uh, but it goes in and out with a little persuasion, and the thickness of that spring is just enough that you can get it past the other parts back into its little home position on that step that you can see in that that spindle. Okay. Um, 
and I was actually able to do this on my um, other one that was, that's on the bike without even taking it completely off. Still got the brake cable attached, etc. Okay, here's the spring reinstalled. You can see it's right there. It's a little on the loose side still, so there's not quite enough tension, so I'm going to re-bend it. I'll take it out, add a little more tension, and reinstall it, and it should be good to go. As you can see, it's shifting as it should. It's clicking through the gears, both up and down, which is what I would not do before. Um, and hopefully that'll work and be reliable. I don't know if that's the case, but I'll certainly try it out. I'll reassemble this and uh, road test it and uh, try it out for a little while. But uh, on the bench here, it seems to work. And there you go. Good luck. Hope you can do the same.